All right, so cosine law is another way to solve uh, non-right angle triangles. So in this case, we're still going to label the same way we did with the sine law. So we've got our capital letters, our angles, right? The, uh, capital letters, that represents our angles. And our little letters are opposite from our big letters. And they represent our side lengths. So our lowercase, these are side lengths. And cosine law is not a pretty equation. It's really not. It starts off looking like Pythagorean theorem. So a, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. But then we do minus 2ab cos c. Now, the letters themselves in the equation, who cares, right? It could be cab. You could spell your initials. You could spell your pet's name. Whatever don't like the question the way it's labeled, label it yourself. That's fine. What absolutely must be in place is that the side length and the angle on the outside of the equation must be a matching pair. So they must be a diagonal pair. Must. Okay? You can't change that. You can change what your letters are. You can change your orientation. Who cares? but the outsides of the equation must be in a diagonal pair. All right, so let's do an example here. So I'm gonna tell you that this side length is 26 centimeters. I'm gonna tell you that this side length is 32 centimeters and this side length is 55 centimeters. And I wanna know this angle in here, okay? So the textbook, because that's where I got this example from, labels everything as A, little a, B, little b, C, little c, okay? We don't have to care about that. You can label it whatever your heart desires. So since this is the angle I'm looking for, you know what? I'm going to label that C, which means this is little c. And you know what? Nobody cares which one's A and which one's B. Pick your favorite. Okay. What definitely 100% matters is that c squared, other side squared, plus other squared, minus 2 times other side times, other side times, cosine. This angle and this side length must be a match set, so that diagonal pairing. Okay, Doesn't matter what the letters are. So I am looking for this angle. I am told all sorts of different side lengths. So let's sub it in and let's solve and let's see what we got. So C we said is 55 squared equals A squared is 26 squared plus B is 32 squared minus 2 times A is 26 times B, which is 32, times cosine C. You must watch your order of operations here. Watch order of operations, please, and thank you. These guys, you can condense into one number. These guys, you can condense into one number. But you may not combine them. Please do not combine them. So let's simplify here. 55 squared is 3,025 equals 26 squared plus 32 squared. What does that equal? 1,700 minus 2 times 26 times 32. What does that equal? 1,660 four times cosine C. So I am allowed to bring this 1700 to the other side. No, you may not break this up. So let's see, 3025 minus 1700 equals, so now I've got 1325 equals negative 1664 times cosine C. Opposite of times he remembers divide. Now I'm allowed to bring that number to the other side. I was not allowed to do that before. Okay, so let's see. Divide by negative 1664 equals the negative number, but that's fine. Negative 0 0.796. There's a whole bunch of decimals. Don't lose them, please. Bring your cos to the other side. So that means that angle C is going to be equal to cos inverse of negative 0 0.796. Please don't clear your calculator. Just hit second cos and then your ANS button, your ANS button. 
that puts in your last answer. So my angle is 142 point, uh, around that to eight degrees. Notice that this right here is a negative and that results in an obtuse angle. Do you know all that stuff we did with uh, cast? Well, that's playing a role in here, right? Cosine is negative over here. Cos is negative in this quadrant. So when I have an angle here, yeah, obtuse should have a negative cos. So that's good. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, let's look at this example. So Mitchell wants his eight meter wide house to be heated with a solar hot water system. The tubes form an array that is 5.1 meters long, and we want to put it on the south side of the roof. So that's over here. Here's my south side. And the roof needs to be inclined by 60 degrees. If the north side of the roof is inclined more than 40 degrees, the roof will be too steep for Mitchell to install the system by himself. I'm assuming that means he needs to climb up this side. So we want to know, is he going to be able to do it? So we need to find this angle here. All right. So, hmm, let's see. Do I have enough information for sine law? I like sine law the best because it's way easier than cosine law. Let's see what we know and let's see what we need to know. Oops, what am I doing? So sine law is angle over side, sine angle over side, sine angle over side. So let's figure this out. So if this is angle A, there's side length A. Oh, look, they even solved it all for us or labeled it all for us. So I don't know that angle. I know that side length. Do I know this angle? Yes. Do I know that side length? No. Do I know this angle? No, but that's what I'm looking for. And do I know that side length? Yes. Hmm. What are we going to do? So what do we do? Notice no fraction is all numbers. So what are we going to do? So that means we have to look back at the diagram and see if we can solve using cosine law. Okay, so let's do it. Let's look at our diagram here. We have a side length, a side length, not a side length. And I do have one angle. So I could, the only thing I can do with cosine law is I can solve for B it won't help me get this immediately, but it would help to fill this fraction so then now I have a combination that I can use to solve for the angle. So how about we do that? So in this case, I've got side squared equals other side plus other side. Oops, not B. Sorry. Have it. Have it. So we've got the side I'm looking for equals the other side plus the other side minus 2AC cos B. So remember what I said, this side length must match this angle. They're in the diagonal together. Okay, so let's fill it in here. So B squared is what I'm looking for. A is 8. It's already labeled for me, so whatever, I'll stick with it. Minus 5.1 squared minus 2 times 8 times 5.1 times cosine b. I have my angle this time. So since I have all my numbers, this is just, you can just throw it on in your calculator at once if you want. You can do it individually. So 8 squared is 64 minus 5.1 squared, which is 26.01 minus 2 times 8 times 5.1 times cosine 60. So that's a big long term with the result of 40.8. B squared equals, let's see, 64 minus 26.01 minus 40.8 equals, huh? I am so sorry, it's clearly late at night. That's a plus, 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 goodness, let's try that again. 64 plus 26.01 minus 40.8 equals, oh, that makes more sense. 49.21 square root both sides square root square root and that side length is equal to seven well that rounds out pretty good actually seven meters 
Okay, so that means this side of the building is seven meters. So let's go back to our sine law here and sine B over B equals sine C over C. And I'm choosing that pair because angle B is 60. Side length of B we just discovered is seven equals sine angle C is what I'm looking for. And side length C is 5.1. Cross multiply, so you find the numbers that are in a diagonal from each other. They're going to multiply, divide by the other one. So I end up with sine angle equals 5.1 times sine of 60, all divided by 7. So when you go to type it in your calculator, you can figure out this number and then do sine inverse, or you can do it all as one. I don't know, whatever. So let's see, 5.1 times sine of 60 divided by 7. That gives me... 0.63096 Yes, rounding will affect your answers. Second function sign, second function, find my A and S button because that inputs my answer. 39 degrees. Oh, good. All right, let's interpret here. So let's look at the whole page again. If it's inclined more than 40 degrees, it's too steep. Is 39 more than 40? Nope. So since Theta equals 39 degrees, which is less than 40 degrees. Therefore, what was his name, Mitchell? Mitchell is allowed to work on the roof by himself. Yay!